most important question. Hey, Shadow, are you a vegan? No? No, you're not a vegan either? All right. Well, I'll let you go. Okay. Good boy. Hello, everyone. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you've seen other videos of mine and are returning, welcome back. Either way, you are most welcome. Uh, let's address the elephant in the room, or uh, maybe the cat in the room. Uh, yes, I've used uh, this introduction of me asking Shadow if he's a vegan or not, and him very cutely sque uh, squeaking back like he does uh, before. And guess what? I'm going to keep using it. It's too cute not to. And the, uh, the amount of times I had to try and do it, you know what? It's just going to be in there. So if you get tired of it, uh, skip it. Uh, but it will be in there, so uh, you'll just have to deal with that. Uh, so, in this video, we are continuing with uh, the arguments that uh, vegans have for being vegan, and uh, in this video in particular, we're talking about uh, how being vegan is better for the environment. So, stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy. So, that leads to the next uh, reason, which is environmental reasons and if I were to become vegan again which I won't but if I did it would be because of uh, environmental reasons and animal cruelty reasons um, and actually I think environmental reasons are their strongest point when it comes to being a vegan uh, it's the one that most vegans don't argue, uh, but it, I think in, maybe that's because I'm more environmentally aware of uh, what's going on because I did study geography at university. I don't know, uh, but I think this is their strongest one, and uh, uh, with a lot of these, I completely agree with them. They're absolutely right. Um, so... How is it environmentally better to be a vegan? Well, it saves water worldwide. That's the first one. Uh, a lot of places in the world are about to uh, have or are about to have water crises. And um, animals have to drink a lot of water. And so you also have to divert a lot more water to crops for the animals to eat. So that is a, that is a lot of water usage over the world. Um, and that can all be saved. It, now, the water would still go into crops because we would still have to uh, grow things that could feed us, but uh, at least you wouldn't have the water that is used to, to, for the animals to drink. Uh, it also cuts greenhouse gases and emissions. 14.5% um, of total human greenhouse gas emissions comes from livestock and the supply chains linked to livestock. So that includes like transporting to the um transporting to like a slaughterhouse uh you know transporting to the grocery store the 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 making of uh making of uh, i lost my train of thought sorry the making of products to um to store the animal product the, the animal food in the the making of uh the plants and the farming of those plants to feed the animal all of that so all of that is combined in that 14.5 percent <coughs> excuse me i've done a couple videos by now this today and uh, my my throat's getting a little raspy um uh it also reduces pressure on overfished oceans um our ocean stock, our ocean fish stock in a lot of places are dwindling. Um, just look at the crab issue in, in, um, in Alaska. Uh, they thought they had a lot more crabs and all of a sudden they've had to close the fisheries down completely because there are uh, way, way less crab than they thought they did. They've misplaced, uh, I believe, a couple billion crab or something like that that they thought they had and they didn't. And they're trying to figure out where they all went um and that is a big issue uh, uh another one is that it protects rainforest from deforestation uh, 80 percent of the amazon's destruction to this point has been to make room for cattle and make room for cattle ranches 
Um, so, I mean, if you don't eat meat, if you don't eat cattle, then if you don't eat cow, then what 80% of the uh, Earth's lungs, which is essentially what the Amazon rainforest is, uh, providing oxygen for the Earth, 80% uh, of what has been destroyed so far, 80% of that would not have needed to be destroyed. Now, that's not to say that they wouldn't have destroyed it for another reason, but uh, right now that's where that stands. Uh, it also protects endangered species and wildlife. Um, you would be able to reduce the amount of crops um, uh, grown because you need a lot for animals to feed. Cows eat a lot of food over a day. And believe it or not, 40% of the world's grain and over half the grain the U.S. produces goes towards feeding livestock and not humans. Uh, so that is a significant, significant chunk. Almost half, and half in the U.S., uh, goes to just feeding the animals, not even to feeding us. Um, so if we got rid of those animals, yes, uh, less room for, for farmland, which could mean that uh, invasive species that are not invasive sorry endangered species that are having are seeing their territories shrink and shrink and shrink every year maybe you could give them a bit more of a buffer uh, and like I said I, I agree with most of these reasons they're they're it's it's like I can't really find fault with any of these reasons um, so what can we do if we don't want to be vegan? Uh, personally, um, uh, I think I'll just give you what I have done. So I am very aware. Uh, I have done a lot of research. And like I said, I went to university for geography. So this came up a lot in certain classes that I took. Um, but I have done as much as I can to min minimize my impact in those uh, in those areas that I mentioned before as possible uh, and I think everyone should do that uh, whether they're vegan whether they're whether they eat animals or not um, there are ways we can reduce the amount of water we use on a daily basis um, and it'll save on your water bill if you do those so that's that's a bonus to you as well uh, there's ways that we can all cut greenhouse gases and emissions. Um, maybe you don't have to uh, drive to work every day. Um, some people do, and I, I understand that. Uh, maybe there are different ways you can cut down. Um, uh, we really need to all be aware that the, the fish stocks in the oceans are not doing well right now. And quite honestly, uh, we need to not drive everything to extinction in the oceans. Uh, oh, and one of the big ones for me is we need to protect our, our rainforests. Our rainforests are literally the Earth's lungs, like I said before. They are the major producers of oxygen for the Earth. And we are burning and cutting them down at a rate which is insane. Um, soon there won't be much left when it comes to rainforest and I think we're going to realize oh we gone and done fucked up once they're gone uh, unfortunately we're very close to a point where we might be already too late um, and yeah we need to protect endangered species and wildlife I get it you know, species go extinct all the, all the time 99.5% of all species that have ever been on earth aren't on earth but that doesn't mean we as a species should drive others into extinction uh, and only because we need palm oil for instance in, in the case of the orangutan um, so I mean there's 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 good reason that that we we should try and protect some species uh, so again you don't have to be vegan but just be aware look at the products you're using look at how you're using water look at you know are you are you driving let's say you you got to go to a store can you can you walk to that store do you have to drive could you take public transport somewhere instead of taking a car every day could you bike that's healthier uh, there are many things we could all do 
So what do you think? Is being vegan better for the environment? Do you think there are things that you can do to maybe lessen your impact? Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you want, subscribe. And if not, hey, that's totally up to you. Uh, until uh, you watch my next video, I hope you have a good day, week, or whenever, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.